Hey, I think we're working. All right, cool. Oops, I should probably get some gloves on. It's cold out here. Welcome to my November 2022 stocks, stock photography earnings video. As we noticed, I am in a different location than you may have seen me in the last few videos. I am actually in Wisconsin and it is freezing cold up here. It's 19 degrees and I got a little bit of snow falling on me right now. Not much, some flurries. Um, but as we can see, we've got like eight inches of snow recently. So this is a little new to me um, since I haven't been in this kind of weather for a couple years now since I've went nomadic. But um, we're here for the winter and I thought I would go ahead and make this video short and sweet because I don't want to freeze like a popsicle out here. But you guys are here for my stock photography earnings. If you didn't know already, I'm Joel. I do this, I've been doing this for like two and a half years now, stock photography, mostly to try to see if I can turn it into like a, a little bit of a passive income stream. It's, I should say mostly passive because you obviously have to do some work to get your images and videos online and in a place that buyers will want to buy them and, and find them. Um, but once you do that, it becomes pretty passive. And this month is no exception to that. We will get into that in just a moment. In the meantime, if you guys are interested in this type of content, I highly recommend that you boop that button, give me a like. Um, also subscribe if you want to be notified and all that good stuff. You know the drill, you guys have watched YouTube before. So without further ado, let's get into it. Most of you guys know I like to start these videos with kind of a quick recap of the month, um, especially as it pertains to my stock photography journey um, and just kind of like what's going on in my life because usually they're kind of both intertwined. <laughs> Essentially, how passive my month was depends on how much time I actually had to upload stock photography or stock video. And in November, I didn't get a lot done. And there's a few reasons for that. Um, but one thing is, is that it ended up being a pretty average month for me as far as earnings are concerned. But what's especially nice about that is that it was completely 100% passive again. So even though I didn't get a lot of stuff done, I made money, which is nice, right? So um, basically I had, I was trying to get a bunch of uploads done, but what I had this last minute call, as you know, I do film production as well as photography and I had a job opportunity down in Nashville. So I went back to Nashville to do that um, only to find out that <laughs> The job went away basically once I got there. That was a little bit of a bummer. So I ended up in Nashville uh, hanging with some friends and decided that it was a perfect opportunity to work on my other project, which is uh, my travel project, wanderinghearts.com uh, and the video channel that goes along with it here on YouTube. Um, I'll put links and everything if you guys are interested in that sort of thing. But uh, basically, so I just focused on that pretty much the month and also try to work on putting together some scripts and doing some research for some other videos that I'm gonna do here on this channel as well. But you're here for the stock photography, aren't you? You're not here to hear talk about my personal life and why I didn't get anything uploaded. So now let's talk about my stock photography earnings for November, 2022. And I always like to start with my best agency first. Um, I don't know, it makes me feel all warm, I guess, inside. But this month was Pond5, which is kind of insane. I don't usually have hardly ever any sales on Pond5, but I did in November. So on Pond5, I've got, uh, let's see here, 937 photos and 213 videos on the channel. I had, or on that platform, I had one download and it earned me a total of $20.22. Like I said, this is only my second ever video sale that I've earned directly on Pond5. Now I have sold videos in the past on Pond5 that it was through Wirestock. So this is the first or the second rather time I've actually sold it directly. Um, as you can tell, $20.22 is not a ton, unfortunately, um, especially for a 4K download. And that's a whole nother thing because basically since Pond5 got bought out by Shutterstock, I've noticed, and you may have noticed too, let me know if you've experienced this in the comments, um, but basically like they will adjust whatever price you have set and just give it to people for whatever price they seem they want to. So anyways, on this one here, it was 20 bucks. So uh, I think it's like 40% uh, commission split because I'm, I'm non-exclusive there. So I don't know what that is, but it's, it's like 70 or 80 bucks, I think is what the, the, the price was. Um, but anyway, uh, it's not bad. I'll take it, you know. So is this video here, as you can see, this is the driving in Eastern California. 
on a clear day. This was actually from a road trip and you may have actually noticed this video from last month because last month this actually sold on Video Hive as well. So that's two times in a row that I've sold this video, which is pretty cool. So second place in November was Wirestock. And on Wirestock, I've got a portfolio of 549 images and 93 videos. Now in total, I had six photo downloads and one video download. Uh, that brought me in a total of $8.05. With Wirestock, I had this one video sale here. This of course is a static shot basically of a road in the Sierra Nevada mountains. It brought me in $4.76, and that was actually sold through Adobe. So it's kind of a low for Adobe, because I've typically had much higher sales, usually earning somewhere around 28 bucks or so on Adobe. Um, but I don't know why it's so low. Unfortunately, I don't, with Wirestock, you don't learn anything about the sale. So I don't know if it was an HD sale or maybe lower, maybe SD quality, I'm not sure. Um, I'm assuming that's what it is for to be so low. But nonetheless, it's still good. I'll take, I'll take almost five dollars for you know. It's way more than I make on most of my image sales. I also had six images that sold as well, and uh, here are just a few of the highlights. This one here you may recognize the palm trees silhouette. This one sells a lot for me. It sold two times uh, on Wirestock through Adobe, and it also sold three more times on iStock as well. Next is his first time sale of this low angle shot. This is actually in Ez, France, and it's this like really cool church. This actually was shot with a GoPro, so I'm actually really surprised that it sold, um, but it did earn me nine cents, and that was on Wirestock, and that was sold through Shutterstock. Next up, we've got this lovely view of this vineyard um, in Washington State, and that one also sold through Adobe, uh, and that one earned me 32 cents on Wirestock. And then this kind of person-shaped barricade, if you've watched my channel, you've probably seen it before, um, but this one also sold on extra channels, which is a feature that Wirestock has, um, but it was pretty pitiful. It was three cents I earned off that. And that brings me to my final point with this and with Wirestock on this regard, and that is that these extra channels, every single time I've had an extra channel sale, and it hasn't been a lot, but there've been, I think four or five sales that I've had so far, They've all been like this. I've all been like three to five cents. So I generally check it as an option, but at this point, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth <laughs> worth it anymore to check your extra. I mean, unless you, you're making five cents. Like if five cents is a big deal, I mean, it doesn't hurt to check the box when you submit, but I just haven't had much luck with it. So I definitely wouldn't, um, it's, it's fine as an add-on, but I wouldn't like go out of my way to do the extra channels, um, just from what I've experienced so far. So I also have some referrals through Wirestock as well. That total of $8.05 included $2.79, and that was from 163 referral sales. And so with the referrals, um, basically if you sign up through my link, then um, when you make a sale, then I get like a, I think 10% of that or something like that. So, which is cool, you know, I appreciate that. And, but the biggest thing is means that I had 163 referral sales, which means that you guys that sign up through my link are making sales, which is always the most important thing. Um, so if you guys are interested in Wirestock, it's not for everybody. I've done a bunch of videos on it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not super like raw, raw Wirestock. It has a purpose. I still submit to it. If you're interested after reading all of the articles or videos and stuff like that, uh, then, and you want to sign up to that or even other links that I, other, other stock agencies that maybe you're not signed up to. Yeah. You can use my links in the description. I appreciate it. Um, and it helps me, uh, you know, be able to do this, I guess. All right. Anyways, let's get on to the next thing. Cause it's cold out here. Um, third place was Shutterstock for me. Shutterstock, I've got a portfolio of 702 images and 77 videos. Uh, there I had 17 downloads, which brought me in a total of $6.97. So I did have one sale that you might recognize from a few months ago. And uh, this was a video sale and it was this one right here. It was this POV shot of uh, on the interstate with a U-Haul driving by. Um, this one earned me a rather disappointing $2.35. Um, especially for a video sale. So I know that this is my first like super low video sale like that. I know a couple other, I think Jeff White and um, maybe Andrew Balcombe and a couple other uh, stock photography YouTubers have talked about some of their sales being kind of low, especially on, on Shutterstock like that. Now, not all the time, but it's a bit disappointing. But again, $2.35 is better than 10 cents. So I will still take that. 
and, uh, and it, of course it contributes to uh, yeah the bottom line so I'll take any money I can get on this stuff so I also had some subscription sales as well and I'll just go over a couple of the highlights uh, starting with this one here this is a first time sale for me actually it's this pirate in Treasure Island Florida and it earned me 58 cents and then I also had the shot here of the Jameson Distillery in Ireland, which I want to go back to so bad. Uh, it's an editorial shot and it earned me 14 cents. And then we have this shot here of in Maui, Hawaii. And this one earned 10 cents. And then I had another first time sale and that was this path here um, to the beach. And that was shot in St. Petersburg, Florida. And that one was also editorial, earned me 10 cents. I also had one other notable sale on Shutterstock and it was this on-demand sale here and this one if you've watched this channel you've seen this image before <laughs> it's my Laquillo Beach in Puerto Rico um, this is the same image sold four times uh, also on Adobe stock this month as well um, but it, on Shutterstock it earned me a dollar and 86 cents and uh, sold as a commercial image so now for fourth place and that was iStock Getty um, I don't have a very large portfolio in iStock Getty and it has not increased. So my portfolio there is 106 images, um, and that's it. I don't have any videos directly on iStock. I do have a portfolio. I have a lot of stuff on iStock Getty, but it's all been uh, contributed. I've uploaded it through Wirestock, and that's where I've put the bulk of my iStock stuff. Um, just because iStock has such a different keywording structure and everything, it just I just haven't found the time to like invest in that, to like do redo all the keywords every time I upload something there. So e either way, I, I do get a few sales. In November, I had 12 downloads and that brought in $4.94. Here are a couple of the ones that sold. Starting with this one here, this is a shot from an Oktoberfest many moons ago, sold as editorial. And then I have this other one here. This is a, a Don Cesar Hotel in Florida, uh, St. Pete, Beach, Florida actually. Um, this was sold as editorial and it earned me a dollar and 72 cents. And then also I had this other shot of yours truly in Oktoberfest. And this will give you an idea how long ago this was. Um, this was 2008. So notice the beard was uh, a lot browner and not as great as now. But I also learned my worth because this is a model released image. It earned me 13 cents. So yay, my confidence has been boosted. And for those of you guys that watch all the time, thank you so much, I appreciate that. Um, this is my dishonorable mention section. And here I'm just gonna go over like all of the other agencies I submit to that had some kind of earnings. And um, I won't go through all of them, uh, you know, like every single thing that sold, but uh, mostly I had sales from Adobe stock. I had I am, Alame, uh, Dreams Time, a couple sales in Canva and 123RF in November. Um, my total sales were six dollars and twenty-five cents. Here's just a couple of the images that sold there. And again, I do this so that you guys can get an idea of what is selling, or at least what sells for me. Again, my stuff is mostly travel kind of oriented, um, but it might give you an idea if you've got some hard drive images on your hard drive or something like that, or if you're getting ready to go on a trip or something like that, so you can kind of see what kind of stuff is selling for other folks like me, and maybe that helps inspire you to. Uh, you know, take some images that are similar or just to like find some shots that are like in your own way. My, my notes just fell, so I have to like stop for a second. So we're back. <laughs> Anyways, all I was trying to say was that hopefully these are kind of a little bit of inspiration for you and give you an idea of like what kind of money each of these things sell for. And obviously like a lot of this, you're not gonna make a lot of money off of each individual image, which is also why I like to tell you to like do video because you make a little bit more money. Um, but nonetheless, you know, it adds up if you get a bunch of downloads, um, buys you some beers and, you know, gear or whatever else. So here we go. This is what sold. Uh, this first shot here was in Kauai and this was actually an ATV tour I did. Really awesome one, actually. Uh, we have a article on my wanderinghearts.com website about this trip. So if you want, you can go check that out. If you're in Kauai, definitely hit them up. Uh, it's Kapui. Uh, Kipui tour, something like that, I can't remember. Um, but this uh, earned me 66 cents through Adobe. I also had this other model image here of my wife, and this is up in California, uh, Convict Lake, actually, it's a really cool place. And I also sold through Adobe, it earned me 90 cents. This next one here was shot in uh, El Junque uh, Rainforest in Puerto Rico, and it's like this, all the graffiti and stuff. This is one of the bathhouses there that's been closed. 
um, but it sold as an editorial on Dreams Time and earned 35 cents. This shot here is just a beautiful shot. This is up in the Sierra Nevadas in California. It sold on 123RF and it earned me 22 cents and it's also a commercial image. And of course, one of my favorite shots I've ever done was this one here. This is a like really awesome Toyota Land Cruiser with like a tent top. And it was in the, again, in the Sierra Nevada mountains of California. It also sold on 123RF. Um, it sold as an editorial and earned me 22 cents. Now, the reason it's editorial is because there's like some uh, branding uh, trademark stuff on there. And I just am too lazy to go in and edit all that stuff off. So uh, it is what it is. Next up, I also have this really cool shot here of the HMS Rose, which actually, if you've watched Master and Commander Far Side of the World, which is one of my favorite movies, uh, it's this is the same ship that was in that, and but it's known as the HMS Surprise. Just some fun trivia. Um, anyways, that was in uh, San Diego, California. It earned a dollar twenty-two, and it sold through Alame. One of the few times I have a sale through Alame as a commercial image. And then finally, I'll leave you with this one here of the horses running. Uh, this was actually through IM's partner program, and that earned me 23 cents, and it sold through the, the Gettys program on that. So finally, there's no sales on any of the other agencies that I submit to, um, includes deposit photos, and also some of my images that I have for sale on one uh, Fine Art America. Unfortunately, nothing. I haven't had any sales on Fine Art America, so, yeah take that for what it is. I'm not sure if it's worth it. So I always like to ask like, how were your sales in November? Uh, you know, let me know in the comments. Um, also that brings us to my total earnings for November of 2022. Um, before I get to those though, I ask you to do me a favor. If you haven't already, give the video a like or subscribe to the channel if this kind of information is uh, inspirational to you or you get some value out of it. I do appreciate that. Um, also, if you like this stuff and these videos have helped you at all, you know, there's a whole bunch of just links in the description that you can use. Some of those links like earn me some money, like like small commission fees and stuff like that. Some don't. So, <laughs> but either way, um, you can check those out if you want, or you can always buy me like a virtual beer too. All right. So now let's go ahead and get into the totals. Um, and here they are. The total for November it was forty-five dollars and seventy-six cents. That was from 43 image downloads and three video downloads. Again, I'd like to encourage you to start uploading video because as you saw here, I had three video sales, which doesn't seem like a lot, but it ended up being $27 and 33 cents uh, for the month out of that 45, which is over 60% of the earnings I made in November was from those three video sales. So if that doesn't, tell you to do video, <laughs> then I don't know what does. Um, it's kind of been a running theme here these last like few months on my channel. But um, and year over year, that is actually $27 more than I made last year too. So, and all right, and one more thing before you click off this video, um, for those of you that watched this part, I really thank you, I appreciate it. Um, but let's go ahead and get a roll call in the comments. Let me know if you guys are actually using video or you're uploading any video at all. Uh, just like say, hey, I'm using video. Um, and if you're not, also let me know in there, why not? Why aren't you using video? Is it something that's out of your reach? Um, you don't have the, the the software or something like that to edit? You know, like, you know, give, me, give me a reason why. I just be, I'm just curious, and I think a lot of the other people watching the video would also be curious about that too. Also, you can check out my other channel, Wandering Hearts, for any kind of travel stuff. Like I mentioned before, we've got a YouTube channel where we do travels. There's a lot of Puerto Rico content on there. Um, uh, I just uploaded one here just a couple days ago. And then also, uh, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So thank you so much for watching. As always, if this you find this inspiring and uh, you learn something from it, um, I, pre I hope that's the case. That's what we're trying to do here. So um, give it a like or subscribe and all that kind of thing. Or, you know, again, just use some of those links or whatever. Do whatever you want to do. I don't care. All right, I'm out. It's cold.